I'm very happy here because it feels like family. I, I meet uh, so many friends that I know from long through a, a sketching journey in Penang, in Bangkok, in Bandung. Uh, many of you uh, has come to our sketch walk in Bandung. <coughs> so, <laughs> so this is it. Okay. So I divided it into two parts: uh, travel sketches, and the next one is my my works, the the design sketches. Oh, probably I have to mention that uh, when I'm not sketching, I work as an architect. So. Uh, Actually, I'd rather be sketching. <laughs> so this is uh, a sketch that I did. Uh, this is the oldest sketch that I, I still keep now. It was done in 1991. So uh, this is a museum in uh, Texas, Kimball Art Museum. I think for architects, this is, this, this is uh, an icon that you have to see. So this is what I did uh, earlier on when I was younger. So sketches, are, my sketches are basically lines, uh, hatches, uh, clear. Yeah, this is in Yogyakarta, uh, Taman Sari, Yogyakarta. I did, I did it in 1999. So at the time, uh, I never really keep my sketches tidy or I, re I never keep really store it. So I just, I just do it uh, casually. Uh, many of them, many of the sketches are lost. So uh, my wife, she's there. She's the one who keep on uh, cleaning my desk and probably throw away some of the sketches that she thought is, well, is messy, is bad. So. So this is uh, Kuching sketches. Uh, fortunately, I still keep uh, some sketches of Kuching. This one was done in uh, 2003. This is the textile museum. So earlier on, I I still uh, I still are willing to do it in detail. So it's it's very probably it's too architectural. This is also a courthouse in Kuching. Uh, have, have we covered this building, Peggy? Yeah, this is, this is really interesting. I think we should, we should go there. I plan to go there tomorrow. So I visited uh, Bangkok in 2004. This is Ayutthaya, uh, done in pencil sketches. Uh, this is uh, much later in, in uh, Tokyo. <laughs> this, is, this is, as I grow older, this is my sketch. Become more and more messy. This is also because uh, after I joined a sketchbook, a sketch walk, the first sketch walk that I joined was a Chow Praia, a sketch walk Chow Praia in 2013. It was an an eye-opening uh, event for me. I learned uh, many other styles. Uh, I know uh, many of you. And uh, uh, to me, it's an eye-opener because from then on, I can sketch uh, in a more free style. It's easier, it's more enjoyable. So it's, it's more relaxing than, than my previous sketch, which are more uh, crips and tidy. Yeah, this is uh, one in Frankfurt. Ah, later on, my sketch are becoming like this. This is in Bandung, um, <coughs> done in uh, in brass pen and uh, 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 light wash. And later on, I also become um, more fond of using pencils. This is uh, this is uh, the, the Berliner Dome in Berlin. This is another pencil sketches uh, done in the freezing um, 
morning in Dresden. And after Bangkok, I also uh, dabble with watercolor. So this is the kind of uh, watercolor sketches that that is that I I did it uh, very very casually. I don't I I don't think I have to do details. Just just uh, get an overall impression in watercolor. Ah, this is in Bangkok. This is in Bangkok after the Chow Praia sketch walk. So, I I I really thank you, uh, Bangkok sketchers, for introducing this uh, softer and fun side of sketching. This is in Bandung, uh, a campus. So it's 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 more uh, more fluid later on compared to my earlier sketches, which is more say say probably architectural. This is in Bandung, uh, a cave. So yeah, please come to Bandung. We probably will will have another sketch walk uh, later. We will discuss it on Sunday. Uh, this is also uh, in Bandung. What I like about this sketch is uh, when we, when I painted it, it start it started to rain. Yeah, so I let the rain uh, fall into my drawings, my sketches. So the bottom part is is actually uh, a divine intervention. So <laughs> I let. <laughs> So I let the rain uh, draw the water, uh, the one uh, at, at the bottom part. This is done during a Bandung sketch walk, our monthly uh, sketching event in Bandung. So that is uh, uh, one part of uh, what I do uh, with sketchbook, uh, design sketch, uh, travel sketches. So I think uh, in a way it trains me to to focus on what is important in in the drawing, in what I see, it it uh, trains me to select what is important and what is not, which uh, I think is uh, good, uh, beneficial to my to my other activities, which is design. So I will show you some some of our design uh, in sketches and how it. Uh, it actually get built. Oh. This is a uh, uh, Gunung Agung, a uh, mountain in Bali. Uh, this uh, volcano is on alert now uh, because uh, of the volcanic activities. People in the surrounding area has been evacuated. So about uh, two years ago, a friend uh, asked me to design something at the foot of this mountain. It was the, the view to the mountain was really great, but we know at that time that this is this is dangerous. Uh, Mount Agung was erupted in 1963. Last time it was erupted, and then uh, it was said that. The cycle, the eruption cycle, is about 100 years. So, so it, uh, my friend actually uh, willing to take risk and build a house there with this view. I think the the view was great. Uh, so I sit there at the side, and this is the view. I I develop a habit of sketching or painting the location. Because I think it it immerses me in the in the detail in the in the feel of the location. This is the view when I went there in 2014. So it was a uh, paddy field, and then uh, the mountain, the Mount Agung, is feels very very close. 
So we developed this uh, concept of approaching the mountain. So first, when you approach the house, you will see the mountain with the house. And then as you, you draw closer, the mountain disappear. And then when you enter the house, you see again the mountain. That, that's the story. So this is the, the view from the outside. This was very early sketch that I show my friend uh, how the house will look like. And this is the inside. So from sketching I learned that it is good to, to keep things uh, vague, to keep things simple. So people could, Im could uh, make their own imagination. I also find that uh, this day when everybody can do a rendering. Sketching is very valuable it's because your design, your sketch is unique. This friend also uh, later on uh, at, at later stage of the design, when we start to develop uh, drawings, more accurate drawings in 3D uh, software, they actually didn't like the, the, the rendering. So they always ask for uh, they always ask for the sketches. They don't want to see a computer rendering. So even later on when we enter a more accurate uh, stage, we usually redraw it with, with hand sketching. So <coughs> with this drawing, we just keep uh, the detailing uh, to, the, to the viewer's imagination. So this is uh, our very early sketches. This is the inside. And this is the living room in, in, in local Balinese uh, style. Uh, this is the view when uh, all, almost uh, the building is almost finished. This is the, the picture uh, during construction. So I see that with, sketchy, with sketches, uh, actually, we involve the viewer to, to use their own imagination, which actually uh, lessen our burden, Peggy. Okay, so this is uh, the house. Uh, was, this photo was taken about uh, a month ago with the detailings. Okay. So this is another uh, <laughs> this is another project where after several approach uh, that was uh, several proposal that was declined by the client finally we we can <coughs> we can present them something that they like because it is it is come in sketches so by 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 doing sketches we actually uh, hide uh, other thing that is not uh, needed, that is unnecessary at the at the initial part. Uh, we were asked to design a greenhouse uh, at a, at a new town, a residential uh, development. The greenhouse was meant to sell uh, plants, uh, flowers to the to the to the buyers there, to the house buyers. So <laughs> we actually uh, present this where the wall of the building, the building is actually open and the facade uh, are actually consists of uh, flower pots uh, to, to, to show uh, flowers, uh, plants, and people can go there with a cafe inside and then they can pick uh, flowers. So <clears throat> this is the scheme that get uh, approved or like after we presented uh, many other schemes that, that are more elaborate or more, are more final. Sim to me, be simply because this is simpler. So we show them uh, how the spaces and then how inside and outside are separated by uh, plants. 
Uh, this is after several years. So, <coughs> unfortunately, the the plant supermarket uh, didn't do well. So the cafe actually uh, offer ground the supermarket, and overall this become a, a meeting or eating eating place. But the concept stays where everything is still open, and then we have plants inside. Yeah, off the ground with trees. Okay. Uh, I have two more projects, Peggy. Okay, yeah? <laughs> so, <coughs> this is the third one. This is a resort in Bali. Uh, we did it together with, uh, with my uh, mentor, a Japan, uh, an architect from Japan. Hoshinoya Bali is a resort owned by Hoshinoya, a Japanese a luxury chain. So uh, here also, uh, I found found out that sketching is effective in in capturing imagination and let people use their imagination. Let people <coughs> imagine what. Uh, let people expand what they see from the from the sketches we have. So uh, this is uh, situated in uh, Ubud, uh, in a cliff, about 100 meters high. Okay, uh, this is the, the model. Uh, but what is important is what we depict by, by simple sketches. We just use simple sketches to show them the spaces. Yeah, these spaces uh, in between uh, the buildings. So we, we made so many sketches like this to show uh, angles or nooks and crannies and, and many things uh, in an effective uh, way. So, so this is this. This is... Uh, photo of about uh, last year so uh, a small spaces like this this is what we we try to show we try at the, at, at the earlier stage and which later on become like this And this is uh, another part of my sketchbook, which actually uh, consists of drawings like this that is not interesting at all, but probably it fills half of my sketchbooks. Yeah, this is exactly this part. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is uh, final photos when it is completed before the opening. Wow. The photos are not important. I actually want to show the, the sketches. But again, uh, by simple sketches, we we want to fool the viewers, actually, <laughs> to fool them, to, to let them imagine more than, more than what we draw. Okay, this is my last, uh, my last um, a project that I'm going to show you. This is uh, <coughs> Indonesia's Guest of Honor Pavilion at Frankfurt Book Fair 2015. Uh, for, uh, <coughs> we are fortunate that uh, we were selected uh, through a competition to design Indonesia's pavilion at Frankfurt Book Fair 2015. So this is the, the, the competition scheme that we submitted. 
So at the time, we know that uh, people will try to impress the jury by having or by presenting elaborate rendering, very uh, slick uh, rendering, slick drawing. We try to do uh, to be different. We try to approach the uh, the project in a more um, artistic manner. So this is the this is our competition submission. Of course, this one with other drawings, but this is the main drawing that that we send to the jury. So we imagine the we propose. The pavilion. The pavilion is is actually quite big. This is about half a uh, football field, about 2,500 square meters. Uh, we want to. Okay, I forgot to tell you that the theme is the Indonesia. The theme that the Indonesian uh, uh, organizer present at this uh, exhibition is called 17,000 Islands of Imagination. 17,000 is the islands in Indonesia. So <clears throat> I try to, we try to come up with this idea where the dots made of uh, lanterns uh, are there to represent the sea where people can can go between the lanterns and Immerse as is as if they are they, they are in the sea, while the the squares the numbered square is actually the the spaces where the exhibition will be held. So we try to make uh, to divide spaces uh, with uh, something that is uh, subtle that that is not uh, hard. And this is the the image we try. The ju we, we present to the jury, we try, we want them to imagine uh, how the space uh, will be. So, so this, is, this is the theme, this is the sketches, the early sketches. This is, this is how the space is arranged. So after some development, after we won this competition, it become like this, uh, same concept but uh, more refined with uh, input from the committee. So this is it. So this is uh, that sketches. These sketches is uh, actually when it get built. It's like this. The lanterns that we imagine as the sea and the space uh, it form as the islands. So actually, it's a book uh, exhibition. But we try, we want to represent it in a more, uh, say, a contemporary, sophisticated way. But uh, overall, it is like this. This is, this is what the sketch uh, eventually uh, built. This is uh, 2000 and 15, yeah. Uh, this is the sketches uh, that that was produced before that before that uh, uh, construction drawings. So uh, this is the design of the seat uh, made of uh, cane or rattan. So this is the this is what you will find if you see my sketchbook. Uh, a lot of doodles, a lot of things that. Probably no one will understand. <laughs> yes, this is the uh, the situation. Uh, all the lanterns, all the exhibits. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah.